Hello and welcome to the next Synergist EDS installment regarding your Autodesk account. Today's topic is about roles under your Autodesk account. There are currently six different roles you may see when you access your Autodesk account. Keep in mind that everyone will see these roles of contract owner, contract manager, primary admin, software coordinator, secondary admin, and finally the user or end user. The contract owner is the individual who is assigned to a given contract or contracts and mainly focuses on billings and renewals for those contracts. This role is only present under the new user look interface, which we'll talk about in another session, or is associated to those products that have the sign in ID identifier activation method, meaning those products not assign a serial number activation. This individual is most like your primary admin for your user management, but not necessary to host that role. Reassignment of this individual is only possible through your reseller or Autodesk. The contract manager is the individual who was assigned to a given contract or contracts and has access to products such as perpetual license, network-based products, or serial number-based products. In addition, this individual manages your users and their benefits and has the ability to generate network license for your product. The contract manager role is only associated to the classic view interface, which we'll discuss in another session. Reassignment of this individual is only possible through your reseller or Autodesk. The primary admin is assigned to a single user and focuses only on user management. This role is only present under the new user look interface, which is basically those products that are being activated by the sign in or ID method. Reassignment of this role can occur by the individuals assigned the secondary admin or the contract owner role. The software coordinator is the individual who is assigned to manage your users and products and services for a given contract or contracts. The software coordinator role is only associated to the classic view interface and there could be multiple individuals acting as this role based on your contract configuration. Reassignment of this individual is only possible through your reseller or Autodesk. The secondary admin focuses only on user management and acts the same as the primary admin. The only difference between these two roles is a primary admin can only be assigned to one individual where a secondary admin role can be assigned to multiple users. Just like the primary admin role, this role is only present under the new user look interface. Reassignment of this role can occur by the individuals assigned to the primary admin role or the contract owner. And finally, we have the end user role. This role or the end user is just the user of the assigned products and services. They do not have access to your contracts, maintenance plans, subscription information, or the ability to manage the users. Let's look at this from another perspective when we talk about the role of the contract manager and software coordinator. Remember, these roles are only part of the classic view interface, which we'll discuss in another session. So for example, your company has a single contract, which, as you can see by the chart, is assigned to a given contract manager to support your products and user management. As part of this contract, we can have another individual assigned to the software coordinator role, which can help in, in supporting your users and products. In certain cases, the contract manager and software coordinator could be the same individual, but we recommend that you request to have separate individuals assigned to these roles. As indicated earlier, the role of software coordinator may be assigned to multiple users or based on a given product serial number. Here you can see this single contract has a single contract manager, but hosts three different software coordinators. And when we get into those organizations who have multiple contracts, you request to have different contract managers for these contracts 
and overlapping software coordinators or different individuals assign these roles. Although the assignment of the contract manager and or software coordinator role may be limited, there is still flexibility in assisting your organization when it comes to managing your contract, users, and products. So how did these roles get assigned to your Autodesk account? And this is a very good question. When we talk about the classic view interface, here are some main reasons how an individual may have been signed the contract manager or software coordinator role. But think about this. Someone in your organization can act as the contract manager, the software coordinator, and also be an end user of the product. In addition, somebody could be acting as the contract manager or software coordinator, but doesn't have to be an user of the Autodesk product. Now, we've, we talked about this a couple of times, that the contract manager and the software coordinator could be the same individual. However, we don't recommend that you do that. It's better that you assign different individuals to these roles than at least you have a backup in case the other one is not there. When we talk about the new look interface, here are some main reasons why an individual was assigned these roles. But think about this as well. Someone in your organization could be the contract owner and also have been assigned the primary or secondary admin role and is also the end user of your Autodesk products. Again, somebody could be the contract owner been assigned the primary or secondary admin role, but is not an end user of your Autodesk product. When we talk about the primary admin role, it can only be assigned under certain conditions. Again, remember this is a single user assignment. And in most cases, it's been already auto assigned to the contract owner. But I can take an individual who already hosts the secondary admin role and change them to a primary role. When that occurs, the existing user who had the primary role is promoted to a secondary admin. When we talk about an end user, they cannot become a primary admin. They must first become a secondary admin and then switch to a primary admin. Let's wrap up this session by talking about deleting your user accounts, especially when they're hosting certain roles. Now, if a user has been assigned the contract owner, is the contract manager, software coordinator, or primary admin, you are not permitted to delete those accounts until those roles have been removed from those given individuals. An individual who's been assigned the secondary admin or is just a end user of the Autodesk products, you can delete their user account at any point. However, we recommend that you first go in and edit their access and make sure to remove any products and services or benefits that has been assigned to them prior to deleting their account. Now, when you delete their user account from your, your side of it, your Autodesk account, you're not deleting the entire end user's Autodesk account. You are just removing that information associated to your given subscription, contract, maintenance plan, and those type of things.